What did you need? Hey everyone, it's Laura with Pampered Chef. So we're making ribs tonight for dinner. So I'm gonna show you how to prep those. And I bought these ribs, um, these are pork ribs. So they, there was three in a package. So to get ready for, to cook these, I'm gonna be cooking them in our pressure cooker. So the first thing you wanna do is, you actually wanna pull this membrane off, okay? So I don't, you just, it should come off pretty easy just like that, okay? And that, I'm gonna show you again, okay? So you actually just start at the top, okay? And you're gonna feel it, you can see how, just like this, it just pulls right off. This membrane, you actually, you really wanna make sure you remove this because it will mean the difference in how ribs, how, you're, how tender they are, okay? So this, um, sometimes they're a little bit t harder to remove, but most of the time it should, like this one just ripped um, kind of in half. So you just, you know, it helps if you have nails, but sometimes that's where a knife comes in. And you're simply just pulling that membrane off, okay? Nothing fancy, that's it. And so you, there's so many different ways that you can cook ribs. So let me show you, I'm gonna wash my hands uh, before I touch all my seasoning bottles. And, but there's lots of ways. We're gonna use a dry rub here. And basically, when you're doing a dry rub, um, again, I'm kind of doing a mixed way of doing it. So I'm gonna take mustard, and mustard is my binder, okay? Now what that means, is this is how the seasonings are going to stay attached to the ribs, okay? So I use just regular yellow mustard, nothing, nothing fancy. This is used a lot with smoking your meats, but you can, you can, um, it's just, I don't know, it's just, you can do this without adding, doing oil. Um, I just feel like people end up using way too much oil in their cooking, and you don't have to do that, okay? So, now I am going to add several different things. So I have my smoky barbecue, and I have the smoky apple wood. The other one I'm going to use is a South Carolina style rib, or a rib, a barbecue. Now, barbecue is a style of cooking. So when people say, hey, you want a barbecue? That's not grilling. Grilling is grilling. Barbecue is actually what you find at like famous dates. So I am going to add my kosher salt, okay, all through here. My dogs are talking. And don't be afraid of adding, you're not gonna add too much of this. This is your kosher salt, and we're adding it at the beginning of the cooking process. So you are not, it's not gonna be overly salty or anything like that. So don't be afraid. Be generous with your salt during the cooking process, okay? So now that we have that, I'm going to add, you can add all sorts of things, guys. Um, I am gonna add this South Carolina. So I, oh, that's the little side. I'm going to be very generous with this one, okay? And this one is a mustard base. Um, it smells really good. And this one's gonna go in the pot kind of by itself. So um, I love the mustard, okay? So now, while I have this one, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. I almost need another cutting board. Right, so it makes it more manageable, okay? Now this is where you take the pot of your pressure cooker and we're gonna add in, I'm adding in a half of a root beer to each one, okay? So these are called root beer ribs. You can, um, they just need um, some sort of liquid, but this adds a nice flavor to it. So whatever you wanna do. Um, this is a sugar-free one, so. Um, and then you just keep cutting it. You're gonna find in between the rib, okay, and cut it. And then that's it. That is, now sometimes I will put these on our smoker and then there's times I'll do these in the oven. You can put this in here and then at the end, you can go ahead and put them in 
the pressure cooker and then at the end you can put them in the oven at a broil and get that skin or um, meat kind of a crunchy texture if you want. I Braising is where you soak it in its own um, juices and barbecue sauce. So like you would take a flat pan and put your ribs in and then cover it in liquid and barbecue sauce and stuff like that. We're not braising. Um, I'm just doing a simple slow cooker, excuse me, quick cooker process. And so the meat will fall off the bone. My husband kind of makes a joke that, oh, these can't even stay together. And then um, he'll add his barbecue sauce afterward. But this is a super easy way to do ribs. Just make sure you remember to remove the membrane and season it. Salt well before you cook it. It will change how you do it because it's bringing out the flavor and not making it salty. And try the different seasonings and rubs. Um, this is a super easy dinner and serve it with some really great fries or something simple. So anyway, have a great weekend, everyone.